Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode. I hope you're doing well and having a fantastic week. So I'm still on tour with Marty Pello and I'm currently in the city of Birmingham. But I've been to Birmingham quite a few times so I know the area pretty well. I'm not like a local or anything but because I've been to Birmingham quite a few times I've kind of gotten used to the centre of Birmingham, so near New Street Station. So I'm currently staying in a hotel quite close to there. Um, and I've just received my welcome pack, which is something that you get, or the touring party get in every city. It basically details what room everyone is staying in, and it also gives a little bit of information about the local area. So like if you want to do laundry, it tells you where the nearest laundry is, like um, where the gym is, where the shops are, where restaurants are if you need to eat. Um, and just basically details all the local amenities that you might want to use whilst you're in the city. Now, obviously, sometimes you're not here for long enough to utilize it all, but because I'm in Birmingham today, we've got a day off. So we've got all of today and then we've got tomorrow, which is the show day. Um, so if you want to do any of your washing or you want to go to the gym or you want to go to the cinema or anything kind of local to here, then obviously you can do. So this week, um, I'm going to show you what I travel with, my touring kit. Um, last week, I gave you a little bit of insight on what it's like to be on tour but some of the finer details I probably didn't cover. So I'm gonna actually show you my tour kit, which is this bag here. Oh, it's pretty heavy, I'll be honest with you. Um, and for that reason, I carry a rucksack. It might not mean anything, but when you're picking up your bag and putting it down, putting it on, transferring here to there, um, over, over the long term, it can get a bit funny for your back and your muscles and stuff like that. And I'd already had problems with my back having carried heavy bags on one shoulder for quite a long time. And obviously then my back goes out of alignment. So I've now been told by my chiropractor that if I'm gonna carry heavy things, that I should use a backpack because it distributes the weight evenly. So I've taken my chiropractor's advice and I've taken a rucksack on tour with me or a backpack, whatever you call it. Um, so I'm gonna show you the contents of my bag. Obviously, I packed the usual things like stage clothes, regular clothes, um, toiletries and all that kind of stuff, which is a given, you'd carry that whenever you went away. But some of the things that are specific to touring may not be obvious. So I'm gonna tell you what I carry with me to give you some insights of what is necessary. So firstly, I am not filming with it now, but I always carry my GoPro kit, which I keep in this little bag. Um, and it's basically my way of keeping record of stuff it's a tiny camera, just in case you haven't seen the GoPro. It's a tiny camera and it's able to film in various formats. And it has like, I've got accessories so I can prop it anywhere when I'm on stage. Um, I can travel with it, use a selfie stick. Um, and just, it's very, very handy and it's really small so it's nifty to kind of get about. Um, and for me, it helps me to obviously document the vlogs. But I always, I always like looking back on the footage that I take, even if I don't post it. Um, serves as a reminder for me about what I've done and and you know the experiences that I've had and it just makes me feel really grateful because if I look back on all the things that I've been doing um, it's easy to forget because I do quite a lot yeah I always feel really happy watching stuff that I've done in the past and how things have changed for me now and how I move forward so that's a definite thing that I carry with me everywhere. Obviously now you've got smartphones, so you don't need a camera, but obviously it's a bit unprofessional for me to have a phone out with me all the time. So having a little GoPro is a little more discreet. So I also carry my in-ears. Now this is essential because we use in-ear monitoring on stage. There's no uh, monitors on the floor. This probably won't make sense to you, but I don't know if you've ever been to gig and they've got things in their ears. I'll show you what it looks like. It's an absolute, godsend and these ones are new i've just i've just been using them for the first time this tour and they're fantastic these ones are from cosmic ears and these are the one the things that i used to hear myself and the rest of the band on stage um so obviously we can deliver a new a good show for you guys so big shout out to cosmic ears for getting my ears to me on time for the tour i also carry a battery pack to charge my phone just in case I'm on the move and there's no plug sockets. I'm, we're lucky enough that our bus, our split bus is pretty teched out. So we've got plug sockets on the bus, but if for any reason I'm out and about and I need my phone and I haven't got a charge, I've got a battery pack that I can use to charge my phone. Obviously, we're all given an AAA pass and this is a, um, a pass that all the touring party get, including the crew. And this allows us to access all the parts of the venue that we need to get to. Um, without this, basically you can't go anywhere in the venues because people don't know who you are. 
So this is a way of being, sorry, this is a way of identifying that I'm part of the Marty Pello touring party and this will allow me access backstage and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, phone charging cable, which is necessary. I carry my laptop. I've been fortunate enough to go on tour at a time in my life when I wasn't as busy as I am now. I'm now very busy and it's a blessing and a curse in that normally I like going away on tour because then you can kind of get a new experience. You can kind of shut off, shut off from other stuff that's going on at home. But actually I've got to the point in my career where um, being on tour doesn't mean I, I can only focus on what's going on on the tour. I have so many other things to do. So I need my laptop to be able to work in the times when we're traveling or in the times like this where I'm in my hotel room and there's things to do. So my laptop is absolutely essential. Cream, because ashy is never a good look. That's my saying. So this is my like medical kit. Now it's got ladies things in there, but the three things that I always carry with me on tour or when I go away, they're absolutely essential is these are antihistamines and I have to carry these because I suffer with hay fever and allergies. So this is how, is the way that I, you know, keep myself together. Um, I carry probiotics because I find that when you're on the road, your diet kind of deviates from what it usually is at home. I take these at home anyway, but it just helps to keep your digestion, you know, going as it should and keep you regular, which we won't go into detail, but I feel like this is really important. I also carry painkillers, which is something that I do just in case. I don't like taking them, but if I got into an emergency where I absolutely needed it, I've got it. Um, so that's another thing I travel with. Water. This thing is the difference between you having a great time or a terrible time on tour. And I am notoriously bad for staying hydrated. Um, I do drink a lot of water when I'm singing, but all the other times I tend to forget to drink water and that's really bad of me. And I'm trying to do better by carrying water with me wherever I go. So obviously water is on our rider. So whenever I leave the venues, I take two bottles of water to ensure that I at least get a litre. So these are 500 mils each. And if I drink these two bottles for the day, then at least I've drunk a litre. So that's my goal, minimum goal for the day. So I've just bought myself a new Fitbit. Now I got this today, but I had one before, but I broke it. So I've got myself a replacement. Now the Fitbit is just like a, a steps tracker to make sure that you're moving. And I think the target, my target has been 10,000 steps a day. Now, obviously when you're driving for long periods of time, it can be very difficult to get the steps in. But obviously when I'm in, in a city where I can actually exercise or the hotel has a gym, then I will do my best to keep moving. Uh, again, you can get really lazy on tour and not want to do anything, um, you know, late nights. Um, poor diet if you haven't got access to catering um, and all these things can play a part in kind of making you feel a bit unwell so specifically this tour I've been really dedicated to making sure that my um, daily habits don't kind of deviate too far from what I do at home so this having this fit back bit makes sure that I move and I kind of get exercise and I'm hydrated and I'm sleeping well which is something that's not happening for me right now but this is obviously a way for you to kind of track what's going on with you. Um, so I also carry sunglasses. Now sunglasses are my savior. And the reason why sunglasses are my savior is because sometimes I look like trash. And this helps to mask that. So I wear my sunglasses normally into the venue because you know, you come out of the hotels and you, the last thing you want to do is get doled up because you do that every night. So these sunglasses are my saviour to at least, at least look half decent in the morning or wherever I am, where I'm going, whatever. Um, it's also an airport sta staple, just in case you get those early flights. But I always carry a pair of sunglasses with me. I also carry a pair of headphones. Now, some people say use your in-ears, but I do not advise you to use your in-ears for general headphones. Um, I think one, because you increase the chances of them being damaged, and two, I just think that to avoid, you know, misuse or overuse, if there's such a thing with um, in-ears, it's better to use a pair of headphones and keep the in-ears specifically for stage. And I know some people do use them for headphones, but I personally think it's a recipe for disaster. Um, 
so I only use my in-ears for stage and I use my headphones for everything else now these ones are pretty good these are Sennheiser ones they're really good noise cancelling ones so I use this to work with um, to record to um, listen to my audio books to I try to listen to books and music on the road so that's my way of making sure that I can do that obviously my purse and lastly what have I got in my bag some lip seal you know my lips are probably dry now so there you go yeah so those are some of my tour essentials I hope that's been informative uh, let me know if you tour what your tour essentials are or what your tour goals I know some people who um, who are singing at the moment who would like to tour um, what would you carry if you went on tour and if you don't tour hopefully that's giving you some insight into what happens when we're on the road and if you haven't seen last week's episode check it out so hit that subscribe button just below the video just to stay up to date with all the videos we post we post every single week we're also on social media so get us on Facebook Twitter Instagram snapchat Google Plus we're on all of those platforms posting loads of great content all that remains for me to say is thanks for watching and see you next week